When John and I first met, I really wasn't expecting to fall in love as much as I did. We first met, we met at a Starbucks, and I was with my cousin because I made sure that she came along with me because um, I was nervous and I didn't know meeting someone online what that was going to be like. And I actually ended up seeing him come in out of the corner of my eye. I was sitting up at the counter reading a book and my heart started to race. And it wasn't until I actually met him and talked to him that my heart settled and I became calm. And the rest of the date was very easy, very laid back, and the rest is history. Uh, Alyssa and I, we were one of Tinder's success stories. <laughs> we swiped right on each other. When I first met Alyssa, uh, I was too nervous to actually go up and talk to her at Starbucks. Her cousin was supposed to be there, but she was in the bathroom. So I just waited outside the bathroom door for her cousin to come out. <laughs> and then I finally met Alyssa for the first time. She was very intimidating to me because she was sitting by herself reading a book. I didn't have the guts to go up and start talking to her. Our second date, I met her entire family. Uh, I picked her up from her grandma's house. I met grandma, I met aunt and uncle, I met cousins, I met parents. So immediately that was the first trait that I noticed about Alyssa was that family is always number one. John is a big softy, so he would do anything for anyone. He puts everyone else first, and so he would always put me first and make sure I was comfortable or make sure that I was having a good time and make sure we were going places that I wanted to go or do things that I wanted to do. It was always about me, and that meant a lot. The day that Alyssa and I got engaged, I've never felt more excited about anything in my life. I was more nervous than I'd ever been doing anything, any sort of public speaking, going up and getting my diploma uh, in college, anything. And she knew it was coming and I was still really nervous. <laughs> I couldn't get my words out. We were in the Art Institute Gardens and I fumbled my words and I tried to get down on her knee and she knew it was coming and I knew she was gonna say yes. So that gave me the confidence to continue on. He hands me this letter and he, I could just see that he was so nervous and I was nervous as well but he started to tear up because I could just genuinely tell what he wrote in that letter was what he meant from the bottom of his heart. He just didn't have the words to say it. So once he got down on one knee, um, my heart immediately stopped and I knew that he was asking me to be his wife and that truly then my heart started to pick up again and race again and we hugged after and it started to become more real that I was actually going to spend the rest of my life with him. looking forward to just growing old with John. I know that sounds silly and everyone wants to be in their 20s and they want to have a great time, but I'm looking forward to growing older, to starting a family, to having children and teaching our children the values that we learned from our parents.
first impression of Alyssa was that she was very sweet and pretty and nice. And I couldn't believe that John had actually like really almost fallen in love with someone and it was quickly. So made me very happy. I loved her from the beginning and have grown to love her even more. John and Alyssa as a couple, coming from me being John's twin sister, I have very high expectations for someone that he should be with. And thankfully Alyssa fits that to a T. Her and John just get along very well. They mesh well with our group of friends, um, my family, and I think they just are on a similar path in life and they want similar things and they just work very well together. I believe that um, they were made for each other. <laughs> and you know, that was important to me because I felt that uh, you know you needed to really know and get to know somebody and re realize that the person you're gonna spend your the rest of your life with is someone you work well with. I always noticed in the very beginning with John and Alyssa that there was there was this connection in that they allowed each other to have their own opinions. They listened really well together. It was, it was really neat to see in a young couple. I always think to myself, the Inskeeps have kind of a fiery personality. So I would describe John as like being the calm to Alyssa's storm. I just think it's, a, it's like two pieces of a puzzle. I mean, they fit pretty well together. John's very calm person. Uh, nothing really gets him too too riled up. So to to see John interact with Alyssa and kind of keep her her calm, so to speak, was the the biggest impression I got from John that he, he was going to be something special. Uh, I, I keep talking about the yin and the yang with with John and Alyssa. I, I do believe that truly is the case here. So he's just a good person. He's a caring person. You can see it. You can feel it. Um, and and you know there truly is something there between he and Alyssa, so that, that makes me feel good. I'm so incredibly lucky to be able to spend the rest of my life with a person who's as thoughtful and caring and loving as Alyssa. I can't wait to see uh, what we accomplish together. She makes me the happiest person on the planet. So John is my whole world, my everything. I would not be where I am without him and everything he's done for me. He truly makes every day the best day I've ever had.